It's a sack full of Max. Your man is back as brown hoodie smooshing these goodies. Please join me for a Big Mac party in our mouths. Okay. All right, yo, what is good with y'all? It is the Mac attack. Three on deck. We got 10 piece nuggets in the back and you know I stay equipped to dip and I'm actually cheating because I have some honey mustard from KFC that I dug out of my sauce collection. And I'm heavily intrigued to know what that's gonna taste like on a nugget. But before we do anything more, we must. Papa, pa 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 Pour. So with our new space gray cookie tray, <laughs> we bring out the Diet Pepsi because it's a sad and unfortunate world and the Diet Dr. Peppers and the Diet Root Beers are just discontinued. Literally nowhere has them anywhere at all. So it's Pepsi for us and we go. And while we go, we always shout out to the coldest water, which was my best friend today while I was doing some house renovations. I'm kind of upgrading the kitchen cabinets, painting them a different color, um, <clears throat> and uh, doing the fixtures and everything, changing those out to just a cooler vibe. And, uh, you were my friend out in the sun today, keeping it cool, keeping me hydrated. So thank you very much, sir. If you guys would like to save 10% on a purchase with the coldest water, you do so by using my link down below, code, 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 code hoodie. I was just possessed by the demon right there. Um, and uh, I get a kickback. And uh, so, I mean, a bunch of you have been purchasing and I've been getting commission payouts. And I mean, hey, who doesn't like a little extra money in their pocket? So uh, I really enjoy the product. I hope you really enjoy the product. And uh, I really, really appreciate the purchasing of the product through my link and hooking me up with that little extra something, something so I can buy excessive amounts of Big Macs to eat for you on the internet. Okay, so inaugural, up close and purse. The bubble is fresh. This is why the fresh out of the, uh, out of the, Containment unit is the best, none of this flat pop, you know, but we go. So crisp, so fresh. I'm gonna have to move some of these sauces here and the nuggets just so we can get our full man sandwich room. You know, really hunker down in there. I got these with extra lettuce and I wanted to request extra sauce, but there's this thing that happens at McDonald's when you request extra sauce, I think they take it offensively and they always way over sauce it and then ruin the burger on purpose. So I didn't do that, but I should get to it. So soft. So perfect. The perfect sandwich. Whoa. On point. I haven't had a good ass Big Mac. One that's like really truly hitting. In a good while. Ratios are perfect tonight. Wow. Once again, as per usual, haven't eaten today. Been working on the house.
as these disappear, you will see the salad garden that I have behind me. <laughs> okay, I gotta know the method to this madness. The KFC chicken nugget McDonald's honey mustard crossover. Because oddly enough, in Canada, we only have hot mustard. Hot mustard at McDonald's, no honey. Makes zero sense. And oh my god, is that something else? Very much something else. I gotta say, KFC's honey mustard is ridiculously good. It's got the uh, the fancy mustard like specks in it. Which is key in a good honey mustard. In my humble opinion. It was so funny. When I rolled up to the McDonald's just now, I thought there was like like a teenager fight. Like a like you know how teenagers kinda of hang outside of McDonald's on bikes and, or whatever, they kind of accumulate there. McDonald's is like a hot teen hangout. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Like, what's popping off? So I'm like, in the, I'm like pulling in, I'm like looking over, and then I see all these big red bags on the ground, and it was legitimately a fleet of like skip the dishes cronies all waiting for pickups i was like whoa that's crazy like i had never ever experienced seeing a skip the dishes gang all huddled up waiting for their orders but it's true they roll in fleets these days i guess this one's looking too perfect wow Come on, the deep interior, man, these are all made perfectly made. Whoever was on tonight was on tonight. Real talk. Speaking of McDonald's gangs. I always had this funniest thought in my head about like the geriatric gangs of different establishments and they would like go head to head on like scoot motor scooters with their canes and shit, throwing their dentures at each other. Cause in Canada, Tim Hortons has like you know, all the people, the old people, like, they meet up there and hang out. But each location has their specific geriatric gang. And then there's different, like, rivaling chapters. Like, there's the McDonald's geriatrics and then the Timmy's geriatrics and the BK geriatrics. They're at war and they all have scooters, wheelchairs. I've always thought about turning that into a stand up comedy bit or a movie, <laughs> a movie like a Seth Rogen movie.
me and my ex always used to j- joke about the Jerry Achlerette. So like the Bachelorette, but for geriatrics, like for people who are, are widowed, husband or whatever, wife just died. And they're like, yes, finally I'm fucking free. Now I can go <clears throat> sling my raisin at some new, some new guy or girl. And uh, it's just... The Bachelor Bachelorette with literally old people. Like, really old people. Widowed old people. Turns out... That they're doing it. They're about to do it. <laughs> Sometime in the next, like, year, year, two years. I read on the internet. A little BBQ. Mm-hmm. Hitting good. I'm not gonna lie. I would 100,000 million percent watch Old People Bachelor or Bachelorette. Without a doubt. With no question. I feel like it would easily be the most next hit massive success because I just people would be so intrigued by it for so many different reasons. Mine being, I feel like they'd be like, listen, we're old. I don't have time to pussyfoot around here. Like, this is what I'm into. This is what I like. This is what I'm looking for for the last six years of my life. Salad garden. But I honestly think they'd be savages. So stuck and sat in their ways. <laughs> Just saying it like it is. Every once in a while, maybe shit in their drawers, taking an accidental pee. I don't know. Lots of possibilities for insanely high entertainment value. Is really what I'm getting at. Ah. I'm entering the realm of where It's still delicious and I want to eat it, look at it, but also the full is creeping. But oh my word. These were, these were lunchtime quality. It is late at night right now. It's like 10 o'clock. These were 11.45ers. Which is very rare at McDonald's late at night. Oh my God. That drink felt like it cleansed my soul. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Come on. Oh man, this is gonna put me horizontal. This is gonna be an hour of regret. Not regret, but you know, mild discomfort. (laughs) 
but we march on in the name of not being overly wasteful. I can't finish this. I just can't do it, Captain. I just can't do it. Somebody in the comments, when I asked, they said, you should do like 10 Big Macs. I'm like, in what world? Not a chance. That's a crazy amount. I guarantee ASMR broke into it, but... That guy is a uh, anomaly. In his level of consumption. Okay. Very enjoyable. I hope it was on your end as well. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat Big Macs. Live well. And stay true.